Here I go. Here we go. You ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Look at how much. Hold on, we're gonna let it, because right now the sand is going like this, you know, it's dancing too. But do you know what it's dancing to? What do you think? It's doing the popcorn. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Look at Liam's finger. Now look at the jar and tell me where the sand is at. Move back a little bit so other people can see. Yeah, it. Okay. So I'm just Alexis sort of watching it and Put taking it all Alexis. in. Okay, now look. The sand did what? Went down. It sank. The water did what, Liam? Rise. It rise. And the rocks stayed at the bottom. Oh. So we know then that matter occupies space. Okay, you can stop. You can do it. You can. You want to do what? Here's our experiment. So this is what I want you to do. If you wiggle como una coca cola en un barro y cuando lo abres se goes up y se cae. ¿En una coca cola? No, cuando está en como una botella y cuando se mueve, se va para aquí. Se sube, se sube. ¿Qué tiene una Coca-Cola? Tiene una tapa de agua. Y tiene gas. Es agua con gas. Entonces, si le haces así a la Coca-Cola, ¿qué sube? El gas sube. Y también es este globo. Y te voy a dar un globo. Las burbujas. Ok, this is what I want you to do. Okay, so that seems like a really interesting clip to me. There's a lot going on. The teacher has um, set up an experiment that she wants to do. And um, she, I believe she pours some sand in the bottom and um, has a student put his I don't know if the student did this on his or her own, or if they decided this in advance, but the student's putting a finger on the jar. I assume that's to um, check the water level, the initial water level, so they can see it, how, if and how the water level changes. And um, the teacher pours some sand in, students are observing it, and, um, and the teacher uh, ask them about three, um, three sort of observations or conclusions that the rocks stay at the bottom, that the water level goes up, and that the sand, I'm not exactly sure, I'll, I'll go back and look at that about what, what they said about the sand. Um, and those ideas seem to come from the teacher. I want to go back and look and see um, if the, what the kids are saying about the rocks and the sand and the water level. I think there were some comments about the water level from kids earlier. And then at the end, there's almost this other little um, thing that comes up um, with the person who's noted as child two on this transcript. And I just want to read it more carefully because I was um, trying to watch and read. Um, when, if you wiggle like Coca-Cola in a bottle and you open it, it goes up and it falls. So uh, I want to see what what goes up. To can I can I figure out what the student is saying goes up, and can I figure out what the student is saying is going down there in that sentence? That's a really interesting sentence. I think initially I thought she was saying it. And my Spanish is not that good, but I thought she was saying that when you open a Coca-Cola bottle, things go up. Maybe the water level. I'm not sure what she meant. About that, the teacher had said something goes down, something falls. I'm not sure. Um, when it's like in a bottle and when you like open it, it goes through here, it falls. I'm going to have to look more at that because I'm not sure I understand um, what the student is saying. 
It goes up, what does Coda Coco have? It has a lid, and it has gas, it has, it's water with gas, so then if you go like this, and she, I think the teacher shows a shaking move, what goes up, the gas goes up. And if it falls, it will explode like this. Um, that's a different student, I wanna look at that. The bubbles, and also the bubbles, the bubbles. Okay, so now I'm gonna watch it again. <coughs> And probably I'm going to um, maybe stop and make some other comments on the way. Now I, but I feel like I have a general sense of, of um, sort of um, what's going on. So I can take a closer look at that. Here we go. You ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. So the students, all the students, seem to be looking very closely. And the teacher is the one who's doing the pouring. Where they are, are physically close uh, to what's going on. Even this girl who's sort of in the back behind some other children seems to be um, looking closely at what's going on. Here we go! Here we go. Oh, so. I think I heard a rock. So I think there's sand and rock in the water. Um, I hadn't realized that before. Also, I realized I want to go back and see if I can see if the student's finger is on the bottle. So I'm just going to go back to the beginning. Okay. Now, I hadn't noticed this initially, but now I see right here this student with the green shirt and the black pants has his finger on the bottle. I'm guessing he has his finger at the top of the water level. Okay, so here we go again. Here we go. You ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. That's the sound of some rock. It's got to be higher. Okay, so some students are saying right away it's gotten higher. I wonder which students are saying that. And what they're seeing. Are they looking at his finger? I'm not entirely sure. So go back a little bit. It might be the boy with the finger who said that. It might be this boy. Look at it might be this boy who's saying it's okay. right. It, okay. right now, that would be my guess. I'm not sure, but it seems possible that it was this boy with the green shirt and the black pants who said that three times. It's gotten higher, it's higher, it's higher, it's gotten higher. Look, we're gonna let it, because right now the sand is going like this, you know, it's dancing too. But do you know what it's dancing to? What do you think? So, I think the teacher is saying she wants to wait a little so she can wait till the sand uh, settles. And um, she relates what the sand is doing to what this boy is doing. And um, I, I, I didn't think the boy was moving around to be like the sand, but I'm just going to watch again and see. So, okay, let's see. Because right now the sand is going like this, you know, it's dancing too. But do you know what it's dancing too? Okay, I think, I, I don't think, I, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure if his movement is related to the dancing of the sand. That's, that's not clear. High. Look at how much. Hold on, we're gonna let it, because right now the sand. So this student over here was coming in to take a closer look, and the teacher sort of moved him back. Um, perhaps the teacher was wondering if uh, that student would block other students. Um, let's see. Look, we're gonna let it, because right now the sand is going like this. You know, it's dancing too. But do you know what it's dancing too? What do you think? Yeah. It's doing the popcorn. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Look at Leanne's finger. Now, so the sand is dancing. It's doing the popcorn. I wonder if there's... Um, I, I'm wondering if there's a substantive issue there that the teacher's getting at. Um, 
the idea that the sand has to pass through the water? Just curious. Look at the jar and tell me where the sand is at. Move back a little bit so other people can see. Yay! I just want to start, make sure I've got this all with the dancing. Okay. She's doing the popcorn. I, I remember, I think she points at him when she says the popcorn. Maybe they discussed that before. It's doing the popcorn. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Look at Liam's finger. Okay, now, now she's directing the... everyone to Liam's finger. So that boy's name is Liam. And tell me where the sand is at. Move back up. Okay, now I'm wondering why and how Liam's finger is going to help them with the sand. Maybe now it's... look at the jar and tell me where the sand is at. Hmm? So is the sand going to be that visible in that jar? The level of the sand, is it going to be visible in that jar? Because it looks like it's colored. Maybe it's colored because it has dirt and sand in it. Also, it seemed a dark color when they started. Maybe they've done this more than once. Wait, wait, wait. Look at Liam's finger. Now look at the jar and tell me where the sand is at. Move back a little bit so other people can see. Yeah, I enjoy to watch Coco. Okay, Alexis is touching it. Put your finger there, Alexis. Okay, let me see what's going on. I hadn't caught this thing with Alexis on there. So other people can see. Yeah, I enjoy Oh, wait, wait, wait. Look at Liam's finger. Liam's finger. Now look at the jar and tell me where the sand is at. Move back a little bit. So is she trying to get them to compare where the sand is with where Liam's finger is? Liam's finger, I think, is where the water level used to be. Other people can see. Yeah, I enjoy to hot cocoa. Okay, I like is turning into hot cocoa. Maybe the student's thinking of that because of the color? Uh, I'm not sure what other features of the liquid concoction might give the student that impression. Hot cocoa. Okay, Alexis is touching it. Put your finger there, Alexis. Okay, okay now look. Okay, so Alexis must be this person with the red vest. Back to the popcorn. Let's see. Okay, popcorn. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Look at Liam's finger. Okay, I got Liam's finger. Now look at the jar and tell me where the sand is at. Move back a little bit so other people can see. Yeah, I enjoy to hot cocoa. Okay, Alexis is touching it. Put your It is interesting that she sort of moved this girl back, I think, and it seemed to me that this boy was maybe peering over. I'm not going to focus on that right now because I really want to understand what's, what she's okay, getting at the sand level. Okay, Alexis is oh, touching it. Put okay, your Alexis, Alexis was putting... Okay. okay, so when she said, I think, look where the sand is, Alexis responds by putting, um, I think it's uh, by putting his finger on the liquid where the sand is. So maybe, maybe it's very visible to see where the, where the level of sand is. In the jar. And look, the sand did what? Oh Went down. It sank. The okay. The sand did what? It, so she's showing the movement she's hoping students verbalize. And I wonder what ideas students might have about what happened to the sand. Um, it run down, it ran down. I did what? Let me just go back and look a little bit. Put your finger there, Alexis. Okay, now look. The sand did what? Run down. It sank. The water did what, Liam? Ride. It ride. So, I think the teacher here is, um, the teacher here is asking students what happened to the sand and what happened to the water. And um, the teacher shows with her hand, right, the down for the sand and the up for the water. And um, I guess my question would be, which students, you know, what evidence do I see 
that students hold those um, ideas, those ideas also. So let me just go back and check. Okay. okay, now look, the sand did what? Went down. It sank. The water did what, Liam? Rise. Okay, so, so the, she asked Liam, he's the one with his finger, what happened to the water, he says up, and then she motions it. So it, that idea, she, I think she's illustrating um, Liam's idea that it rises up, and um, there's the fingers are being used, I think, um, to mark the levels in the jar. Um, one thing that's sort of interesting to me is that where Liam has his finger, I believe is no longer the water level. It's the it was the initial water level. It's sort of the evidence of um, right. It's a trace of where the water level used to be, but um, where. Um, Alexis has his finger is the current level of sand. Um, I wonder if um, that's a concern for any of the kids, um, those different uses of marking the levels. Um, They're certainly related. The rice and the rocks stayed at the bottom. So we know then that matter occupies space. So this is very interesting. The teacher certainly acknowledges um, this girl right here, sorry, this girl right here who has her hand raised, who I think in the transcript is child two. I think she's looked at her twice, um, but the teacher is deciding perhaps to finish this conversation. Um, I'm really interested in this idea that the teacher says so we know that matter occupies space. Let's see. Well then, that down, it sank. The water did what, Liam? Rise. It rise. And the rocks stayed at the bottom. So we know then Looking that one. matter occupies space. <laughs> So we know then that matter occupies space. Students have a sheet. It seems like they are eager or knowing the next thing is to do something with that sheet. I'm not sure what's on the sheet. How do they know that matter occupies space, I wonder? How do the students know that matter occupies space? Um, I guess my question is, if she had put sand in and the water level stayed the same, then the teacher is saying that you could put some more matter in, but it's not occupying any space if the water level is staying the same. But it seems to me you might put something in there and the water level would stay the same, like if you put an ice cube in. I guess the water level would rise a little bit if the ice cube is at all below the surface there. Um, I'm, yeah, so I'm wondering what connections students are making between the experiment they did and um, what's happening with the water level, uh, with this idea that matter is occupying straight space. Okay, let's look at that. So we know then that matter occupies space. Yes, okay. okay, you can stop. Okay, I'm not sure what that, oh, oh okay, you can stop. Maybe that's Liam or Alexis asking about his hand. Let me just look at that. We know then that matter occupies space. Yes, I'm so tired. Okay, you can. Oh, he says, I'm so tired of holding that. She says, you can stop. Okay. What happens when she says that? That matter occupies space. Yes, I'm so tired. Okay, you can. And what is that other comma between two something? There's a comment, I'm not sure what it is, but I, I want to try to understand because it might be a response to her statement that um, matter, matter occupies space. Yeah, so okay. 
between two what? Is that what they're saying? Pies. Okay, you can start. Sure. You can do it. You can. You want to do what? Oh, so Liam takes his hand away, and, and this girl here with um this light blue shirt says, "I want to do it." Okay, now what does she do with her finger? Where do, what do you think she's marking with her finger? Can we see? She marking the old water level, the new water level. Does she, maybe they've done a series of experiments, I'm not sure, and so she wants to turn it, putting her finger there. Let's see. I you can do it. it. You can, you want to do what? Here's our experiment. So this is what I want you to do. If you wake up in a Coca-Cola in a bottle, and when you open it, it goes up. It's a tire. So she said, if you look at the Coca-Cola, it goes up. But I, I don't know if what she said is, and it falls, or if she said, initially, I thought she was saying, when you do the Coca-Cola, it goes up, but you said it falls. But um, maybe she's saying something in Spanish that I'm not understanding. Oh no, she does say isekai. It goes up, isekai, and it falls. It goes up and it falls. Oh, so maybe she's thinking when you when you pour a glass of soda, the level rises and then the level falls. Okay. Okay. That's that's very interesting. Um, how she's relating that. Que sube, it goes up, it goes up. Okay, so she's sort of looking at this jar to explain her. Que sube, que sube. Que tiene una Coca-Cola? Tiene una tapa de Y tiene gato. Okay, a lid. And now the teacher's going to... It's agua con gas. Entonces, si le haces así a la Coca-Cola... Que sube. Que sube. Que sube. What goes up? Okay, so um, I I am interested in the connection between this idea and the student's idea of the of the liquid going up and down again in a Coca Cola bottle. Um, perhaps the student is thinking that that shows something about a changing state of matter with the same amount of matter, I'm not sure. And so the teacher wants the student to think about the gas, the bubbles. Tiene una Coca-Cola, tiene una tapa de y tiene gas, es agua con gas. Entonces si le haces así a la Coca-Cola, Oh, what goes up? <coughs> the gas goes up. So, is that in comparison to the liquid going up? Is that the teacher's point? The gas goes up. Oh, a lot of students are getting up. And now we've got two students talking. One student says, and if it falls, it will explode like this. Okay, I think that's Alexis. Let's just see. So we know then that matter occupies space. Okay, you can stop. You can do it. You can, you want to do what? Here's our experiment. So this is what... This is just a little aside, but in addition to this little girl with the light blue shirt wanting to touch it, I believe that this girl in the white shirt wants to do it also. 
hacer yo? Tanto es un hueco como una coca cola en un barro y cuando lo abre se cae oh, y se cae. ¿En, ¿En una coca cola? No, cuando está en como una bote y, y cuando se mueve observa para que se ¿Qué cae. sube? ¿Qué sube? ¿Qué tiene una coca cola? Tiene una tapa de agua. Y tiene gas. Es agua con gas. Entonces si le haces así a la coca cola. By the way, I must say, the students are all really listening to this idea. Um, it's not just this one girl's, she's not the only one, who just, she's not the only student who's engaged with this question with the class. Las burbujas. Okay, y se cae también va a explotar así. If it falls, it will fall like that. So that's what he's saying. Las burbujas. Okay, this is what I want you to do. So, really interesting clip. Um, where the teacher is engaging students with thinking about um, this idea that matter takes up space. So, if you add some matter to a liquid, the level of the liquid is going to change because it's got some other matter in it. And then I'm not sure about the connection between that and the bubbles idea because I need to understand a little bit more are the bubbles gas that's leaving? So let's say you have the water level in a bottle, you shake it up. You open the top, some gas leaves, then is the water level going to be lower than when you started? Um, does gas take up a noticeable amount of space? Am I going to notice it? Or was the gas already in the bottle, <laughs> not part of the liquid? So there's some science for, for me to think about that. And then I've been using this transcript to um, help myself understand this last part with the girl and something interesting in the transcript stood out to me. And that's at the at very end where the teacher says, las burbujas. And then she says in English, okay, this is what I want you to do. And in yellow, it says, teacher restates the bubbles in Spanish, modeling Spanish versus Spanglish. So, I didn't notice that until it was there, but now that it's there, I didn't notice these green words Spanglish on the transcript, and I noticed there was some yellow, but I didn't really make the connection until now. Um, so Spanglish, my guess, is a note for when a student use, uses English and Spanish in the same sentence. So the first time that the student says, if you wiggle, como una Coca-Cola. Um, so there's a combination with English and Spanish. And a little lower, oh, the student says, los bubbles. And the last time, y también las bubbles. So saying the word bubbles in English and the rest of the sentence in Spanish. And the person who wrote this transcript is um, noting that the teacher is restating bubbles in Spanish, but then also says modeling Spanish versus Spanglish, come on in, which is 
Okay. Can I say one more sentence? By all okay. means. Which I think is sort of an interpretation of what the teacher's doing. I hadn't noticed that, but I think that um, that's interesting. I'm done.